In this video, I'm going to show how to go from uh, advanced design to uh, beam designer steel connection. This is my steel frame I have created, and um, on the left part uh, in the pilot, as you can see, I have um, set two subsystem one for the connection and one for the structure. Then we are going to object, and under object, we can see um, the panel of the connection that is the base plate, splice, beams, uh, a column fixed connection, pin connection, and gussets. So now I'm going to create some uh, beam column fixed connection. As you can see, I have created also some arches and uh, they will be recognized uh, in, um, in Beam Designer Steel Connection. I'm going to create other one for each kind of um, uh, beam column connection. Uh, to do that I just um, isolate uh, my portal frames and uh, this will uh, uh, make easier to then uh, uh, create uh, uh, my connections. So what uh, I'm going to show is that um, uh, a nice tool you have in Beam Designer Steel Connection is uh, that you can create group of connection. This means that uh, if you want to have uh, the same connection, for example, for the left part of my of my uh, structure, I just create a group for the beam column fixed connection. And um, in this case, when I'm going to the connection software, then I, I just need to create one connection and it will calculate it for all uh, the five uh, connection. So taking into account the forces of every one of these connections. So I, to show you the difference I will create a group for this for the left part and I won't create a group for the right part. Another thing that uh, we can create is also uh, base plates. So I create my base plate and it is telling me that uh, I've chosen a pinned one and I select fixed. And as you can see now, I can create my base plates. And I group them. <coughs> so as you can see here, you don't have any group at the moment because the only group we have created was for um, the fixed connection. So you need to go to base plates, in this case, as a family, and set a group for the base plates. And I'm going to create a group for all of them. So now I'm running the analysis and um, we are going to see uh, what is going to create uh, in, uh, in advanced design. So now I'm going to the design part and uh, under connection, as you can see, I have a group for, the, for my five elements and a group for the base. While instead, the other connection that are not in a group I need to create them separately. So if I double click on my uh, connection, now I'm creating one connection for all five of them. 
is automatic creating a, a connection and uh, here in geometry you can add stiffeners you can amend the plates and um, the, uh, the bolts as well you can uh, choose the position and uh, creates also uh, and have a different tolerance and uh, you can change the materials for every uh, kind of elements and uh, you have also the uh, chance to amend the welds uh, here as you can see in the load definition I have the worst case for all um, five of my connections In this case, I just calculate as it is. Is it is already correct? I can obviously optimize it later. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to update it and to show you then also uh, the base plates. As you can see, my analysis is still um, black because it's still updated. If I change, for example, the dimension of the onches, uh, this will change the stiffness in my model and my model uh, would need to be updated. And in the analysis, it will appear in uh, red instead of black. Now I'm going to show also the base plate. In this case, I should amend it because it, it can take the moment only in one direction instead of a fixed one. I can add reinforcements so, as well in the <coughs> concrete base. And as you can see here, uh, it's taking the worst case of all of them. So thank you for your attention.